Good morning, this is Happy Radio 98.5 FM and we're downstairs in our very own little coffee shop here in Dung Tawan Condo. It's called 1.6 Cafe. It's only been open for one month and it's the best coffee shop i found so far in Chiang Mai. And I've invited some guests with me here today to have a little chat on this sunny Wednesday morning. Good morning, sir. What's your name? Good morning, Steve. I'm very happy to tell you that my name is Tanu Sawarot from Rampoon and I belong to Chiang Mai Toastmasters Club. Well, thank you for being with us this morning. We do appreciate you coming to our little coffee shop here to do this little bit of an interview. Tell us a little bit more about Toastmasters here in Chiang Mai. Toastmasters in Chiang Mai, we have only one club. Unfortunately, while in Singapore, we have about 200 clubs. Imagine, we're supposed to have at least 50 clubs in Chiang Mai, but we just only got one. But anyhow, we are, we are practicing our communication skill and leadership skill. And our place is Chiang Mai Orchid Hotel. Uh, every second, third, and fourth of uh, every month, Sunday of every month, I mean. So join us if you can. We can practice together, learn together in, the, in a very, very diversity from other countries. So please join us. I admire you because obviously English is your second or third language from uh, Thailand here, of course. Where are you originally from, sir? I am from uh, Chantaburi, Thailand, and it's in the eastern part of Thailand for foreigners who may not know this name. And Chantaburi is a land of fruits and jewelry. If you want to buy or eat some uh, favorite fruit, go there. And if you want to find jewelry, go there. But I got married and I'm an in-law of Lampoon province. Lampoon is the south of Chiang Mai, very small island, uh, small province, sorry, not island. And this is the land of fruit also, the Longan. So Lampoon, we still don't have Toastmaster, unfortunately. On behalf of in-law of Lampoon, I will be a Toastmaster club in Lampoon somehow, someday. <laughs> okay, you sound very excited about this, which is really good, which is what Toastmasters is about. Uh, how long did it take you to learn English? I started learning English when I was in uh, primary school, start learning ABCD, and then I realized that English is the key to success in every aspect of my life, so I practice a lot, practice a lot. I want to talk to people, read books, and so on. I've never been studying abroad, but I meet people, and I think the best place to study English is to use it. And the place that we can use it is in a Toastmasters club. You can practice every week. Is English language the only language in Toastmasters International here in Thailand? No, Steve. We have uh, uh, in French and in Thai as well, Toastmasters. But around the world, we have many, many different languages. Japanese, Deutsch, Spanish, French, and Chinese. You name it. So we have a lot of manuals in different languages, but not Thai. You know why? Because we don't have enough club in Thailand. Okay, well, hopefully that will happen in the not-too-distant future. Thank you for talking to us right here on Happy Radio 98.5 FM. We'll be back with you very soon. Good morning, it is Happy Radio 98.5 FM, live from our little coffee shop right here in Dung Tawan Condo, 1.6 Cafe. And we're here with Toastmasters International, live this morning on Happy Radio. And now, well, as already expressed, we do have an international clientele within Toastmasters. Now, not only from Thailand, but also from the Philippines. Is that right? Good morning, sir. What's your name? Hey, Steve. My name is Brian. Pleasure to meet you. And where are you from, Brian? I'm from the Philippines, specifically Iloilo City. Oh, fantastic. A nice part of the world as well. How long have you been in Thailand then? Oh, I've been here for six years this month. Oh, congratulations to you. Yeah. I'll have another coffee for you on your behalf a little bit later on. Thank you. Tell us a little bit more about your role within Toastmasters International. So in Toastmasters, we have District 97P. That's where Chiang Mai Toastmasters belong. So in District 97, we have the countries of Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, Myanmar, Vietnam, and that that that's composed of six countries and of course Thailand mm. and I'm the district PR manager and 
We try to build the brand of Toastmasters in these six countries and encourage people to join our clubs. So tell us a little bit more about your role as the PR guy then. What do you have to do? So as a PR guy of District 97, we build the Toastmasters brand. So the name Toastmasters will be a household name for everyone when you say leadership. When you say public speaking, we want people to think about Toastmasters. And also, we want to encourage people to visit any of our clubs in the six countries. So actually, Toastmasters itself encourages people to come up and learn how to speak in front of audiences or in other areas as well, yes? Yes. As you see, leadership is a very important skill nowadays. We need it in our workplace, we need it in our community, even in our family. So in joining Toastmasters, we develop people to become leaders. And to be effective leaders, one has to be a great speaker as well to motivate people, inspire people, inspire your members. So that's what a Toastmaster club brings to members. Be great leaders and great speakers and communicators. What inspired you to join Toastmasters International then? Oh, I, I was inspired by my friend when I saw his post on Facebook. Like, he, he does a lot of activities with Toastmasters, doing presentations. And when I moved here in Thailand, I kind of missed that stuff when I used to do it in the Philippines. So I looked for a Toastmasters club. I logged into the website. And luckily, I found one in Chiang Mai. So I joined it three years ago. Oh, Brian, lovely to speak to you. We'll talk to you again very shortly here on Happy Radio 98.5 FM. We're in our coffee shop. Come along and say hello to us and have a coffee at 1.6 Cafe. And we're talking with the team from Toastmasters International. Good morning, it's Steve, live here on Happy Radio on The Breakfast Show, and we're through until 10 o'clock, making radio great again. We are live from the 1.6 Cafe in the basement of our condo. Is that right? No, ground floor. Ground floor of our condo here at Dong Tawan Condo, which is where the radio station is. And today we've got some special guests in the cafe. Here are Chiang Mai Toastmasters International. Now, we have a young lady here right now. Uh, now, before we go any further, can you introduce yourself in your mother tongue language, please? Привет, Chiang Mai. Меня зовут Bella. Um, я очень рада, что у меня есть такой шанс um, сказать что-нибудь по-русски. <laughs> For the uninitiated of us, that is in Russian. Good morning, Bella. How are you? Yes, I am fine. I am very, very excited. Thank you for having us. No problem at all. So you are part of Chiang Mai Toastmasters International. Wow, what a journey. Because I know for a fact that you have a lot of pedigree in TV and radio already. How did you get involved with Chiang Mai Toastmasters International? Um, I joined Chiang Mai Toastmasters six months ago. And what I wanted uh, probably, I don't know, learn communication skills. But it became literally a life-changing experience for me. Of course, I improved my English, um, public speaking and confidence, but also it became, uh, I became more conscious about what I say and how I say it. So I learned to listen and hear people and I really improved the quality of my life because um, I have, a, I hope, a better communicator. And what's crucial for me in the Toastmasters is that it teaches me critical thinking and ability to think on my feet. It's a really practical because um, I apply these skills to every aspect of my life and uh, now it's flow from leadership roles uh, to the basic uh, interaction with the other people. So it's also a very good school also for understanding the psyche of my audience. Um, all Toastmasters have one thing in common. All these people want to learn and grow. And I met some people in the club that really influenced my life. They changed my way of thinking, my lifestyle, and even my goals. And I hope that I'm just uh, in the beginning of this exciting journey, and I really enjoy every moment of it. I used to be a TV journalist for almost 20 years, and on several occasions I was hosting my own programs. and. Uh, in the past, but unfortunately, at that time, I didn't know anything about Toastmasters clubs. Um, and now, um, I think that 
I would have made a much more successful career if I joined Toastmasters um, Club back then. And I'm very happy, though, that I joined it now, because it's never late. I'm sure that Toastmasters Club helps achieve goals, uh, professional, personal, and any other. And um, it is a journey that... Um, of my self-discovery process, you know. I know now more about myself, about my strengths and weaknesses. I feel really, um, I felt really uncomfortable with my thick Russian accent, to be honest. So now I have uh, almost overcome this kind of uh, psychological barrier and understand that many things are much more important than this accent, you know, to making um, your speech interesting. Of course, I try to pronounce the words more clearly, and I learn from native speakers in the club, but I also use pauses, body language, gestures, vocal variety, and other things uh, to be a more effective speaker. I'm always aware now of the space around me, and I try to use the stage I speak on more effectively. So all many of these small tricks, you know, that make your, yourself, um, myself, um, probably, hopefully, a more effective communicator. That's brilliant. Well done. And I'm well put as well. Uh, interesting what you said there about accents, for instance. I mean, I've worked in radio a long, long time. And we forget sometimes about our own local accents, whether it be from different countries or different parts of your own country. But here in Thailand, for instance, it's multi-languages. There's so many different nationalities. Even here this morning, we have Russian, Thais, Filipinos, and British talking right now on the radio. So I think accents aren't important as much as what they used to be, because I think what happens is people like to hear from different parts of the world. And in your particular case, in what you have done, and your experiences, for instance, working in TV and radio, you probably have a little bit more of an insight what goes on for pronunciation and also voice inflection and presentation. What advice can you give to somebody who is thinking right now, how do I get involved with Chiang Mai Toastmasters International? You know, Toastmasters Club is a very unique platform for improving not only um, English, but as I said, all this uh, confidence stuff. And uh, uh, it is very friendly and um, supportive environment. You can gain knowledge and um, grow as a person, as a, your personality. And you shouldn't think uh, too much, just join, because um, uh, the Toastmasters activity is a do, um, learning by doing, you know? Um, you can't uh, learn to uh, ride a bike by book. You can read hundreds of books, but until uh, you just uh, really actually mount the one and uh, start pedaling, you won't be able to ride a bike. So that's why without uh, too much thinking, you have to just come join us uh, every second, third and fourth Sunday of the month and just give it a, a try. Okay, Bella, thank you very much indeed for talking to us here. Right now on Happy Radio on The Breakfast Show, Steve, live with you, back very soon. Good morning, it's Steve, live here on Happy Radio 98.5 FM. And this morning we have been having some guests downstairs in our little coffee shop here in Dong Tuan Condo. The coffee shop's called 1.6 Cafe. And we have had the privilege of having Chiang Mai Toastmasters International people here International being the right word as well, talking all about Chiang Mai and the Toastmasters. Right, let me see if I can get this right. Kun Tanoi, yes? Tanoi, yes. Yeah, Tanoi, which sounds like Tanoi, which is a thing that you speak out of, which is quite appropriate for your name, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tanoi actually means bow and arrow. Oh, it? bow and arrow. Yes. Well, I'm not going to argue with you then. That's a definite fact. Uh, uh, Tanoi, thank you tell it, for being with us this morning. Uh, tell us a little bit more about how people can get, get involved with the Chiang Mai Toastmasters International. It's quite simple. Just walk in. You know Chiang Mai Orchid Hotel next to Gaston Gao shopping mall. So we have meeting on the second, third and fourth Sunday of every month at one o'clock or better to come before uh, 1245 something. So we we'll meet there and that is very easy to be guest and then 
If you want it, you like it, join us as a member. If you don't like it, you can join as a member and change it the way you want to be. <laughs> okay. Yes. Excellent. And Bella, how do people get in contact with you? Uh, um, you can follow us on Facebook, Ching Mai Toastmasters, or Instagram account. So, very welcome. We'll respond right away, 24-7. Uh, but when you said, Steve, about that, that uh, Toastmasters International being international, I just think uh, I need to tell this, that uh, Toastmasters International is the oldest and biggest network and platform for practicing public speaking. And First Club opened more than, I mean, about 100 years ago, and now we have 16,000 clubs, and our clubs literally everywhere. There is one even in American Parliament, the other one in the Thai Treasury Department. You can find us in the big and small companies, universities, cities, towns, and, and almost every country in the world. So the method we use is very effective because it has been um, improving for almost a century. Okay, Bella, thank you for that information and also history as well. Very, very important. Uh, Brian, you want to tell us a couple of things as well, don't you? Yes, uh, so thank you very much, Steve, for having Toastmasters with us. And our organization membership exceeds 357,000 in over six. 16,600 clubs in 143 countries. So since 1924, Toastmasters International has helped people from diverse background become more confident speakers, communications, and leaders. So I invite everyone who's listening right now in Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar to log on to District 97 Toastmasters to learn more about us and to join any clubs nearest you. Thank you. Well, we've had a lot of fun this morning. I, just before we go, I would like to say that it really is an international group. And to prove this, they are all, in their mother tongue, going to say goodbye to you. Sir, you are first. Say goodbye. I will say goodbye in Thai. Sawadee krab. Russian, до свидания, до новых встреч в эфире. Filipino, maraming salamat, paalam. And I'll do it in good old scouts from the UK. Ta-da! And thanks for joining us. The Breakfast Show is back tomorrow morning live here on Happy Radio 98.5 FM. Don't forget this afternoon, driving you home is Rick Orion. BBC News is on the way next. Have a great Wednesday. Bye! Bye. <laughs>